I'm going away tomorrow, so I wasn't really able to watch any NHL games tonight. Thankfully, a ton of you guys sent me this really interesting video. So this is from the Southern Professional Hockey League, the SPHL. The SPHL is one of the lower levels of professional hockey. If you remember, we did a video a while ago on the Fed. The SPHL is above the Fed and significantly below the ECHL. That being said, I've heard the games are very enjoyable, although the one we're talking about today, not so much. The Quad City Storm were meant to play their Illinois rivals, the Vermilion County Bobcats, but neither the team or the players showed up. Just no one from the Vermilion Bobcats was there. The game would be marked a forfeit for Vermilion County. Quad City would get a 1-0 win. According to Dave Imanin on Twitter, which I'll link down below, Quad City players did like laps around the ice then stayed to skate with fans. But one has to wonder, what's going on here? Did they simply miss the memo? Did everyone's alarm fail to go off? Was this a Bermuda Triangle situation? in the Illinois countryside? Probably not. The team has almost certainly had a mid-season folding. To say the team has been having a bad go of it is to put it lightly. They're 4-24-2 this season, and since joining the SPHL, they've went 9-70-7. They've been through 10 coaches and didn't seem to have one at the time of the game. Interestingly, the SPHL had just rejigged the schedule, so they may have known that something was up. And if you look locally, I mean, there was a lot of talk about this. After the game, one of the past VPs went on local news to say there was a lot of money owed to both players and former team executives. There was another interview I saw with a local season ticket holder. He says the phone numbers are gone. The Facebook page has been deleted. There's no answers. So the team has most likely unfortunately folded, which is not something uncommon in these minor professional hockey leagues. One thing that's kind of funny is I was trying to find more information. So I checked out the Bobcats Twitter page. I looked into their likes and they had this one from Sarah Ayers, who I presume is David Ayers' wife. David Ayers being, yeah, this guy who, yeah, coached the Bobcats saying, you know what's beautiful? Seeing someone not only survive, but thrive when they didn't know they had it in them. That's David. That is not, however, apparently the Bobcats. Sad to see one of these teams go down. I've got to get a jersey, though. If you've got the connection, please hit me up.